Hello, my name is Alex. I thought I was half Polish, half Caribbean. This is the moment my ancestry DNA revealed I'm actually a Viking. No, you're fucking not. You're not a Viking. A Viking is someone who has a boat and goes raiding. A Viking is a job, okay? It's like saying, I'm a builder, or I'm a fisherman, I'm a, you know, whatever, a, a shepherd. You are not, I'm really sorry, Alex, you are not a Viking. I presume what he means is his uh, genetic ancestry, so it's these Discover people. Discover your unique ethnic mix and relatives you never knew existed. Order your kit today at ancestrydna.co.uk. So ancestry DNA. I presume what they've told him is, oh, your Y chromosomes show that uh, you are Scandinavian, certain percentage. Well, first of all, let's get this straight. A Scandinavian person is not necessarily a Viking. All of my viewers know this. Just because you're from Scandinavia doesn't make you a Viking. Just the same as being from England doesn't make you a longbowman, or being from France doesn't make you a chef. Um, it's ridiculous. Stop saying Viking when you mean Scandinavian. The second issue I have with this is Alex there is inevitably, just like all of us out there, practically all of us, basically yes, let's say all of us, a genetic mixture of people from all over the place. Let's face it, people didn't magically appear in Scandinavia. They migrated there from other places and then they bred with each other and, and had a bit of inbreeding in certain areas. But ultimately, they, they came there, they migrated there. Uh, they, didn't they didn't just spring out of the earth. So Alex, our friend Alex here, who's paid good money to Ancestry DNA, is not purely Scandinavian, very clearly. If he believes that he's part Caribbean, part uh, Polish, he's almost certainly correct. He almost certainly knows that part of his family is from Poland and part of his family is from the Caribbean. People from the Caribbean are, uh, themselves have migrated there as many different, from many different places, many different reasons. Obviously Europeans, we all know about slavery, so people being taken there from Africa. We equally know that the Caribbean is named after the Carib uh, tribes, the Carib people. Indians, uh, the Native Americans who lived there, indigenous people, and they themselves came there from ultimately probably from, from Asia, uh, Polynesian people I imagine. Um, so, so if you believe that you're Caribbean, if you know one of your parents is from the Caribbean, you probably can make a, you can fairly surely say that say 200 years ago if you looked at all your ancestors, some of them would be in Europe, some of them might possibly be in Africa, some of them might possibly be um, native indigenous people to the uh, Caribbean um, and then his Polish part well obviously Poland has been a country for hundreds of years if his if he knows that one of his parents or grandparents is Polish then yes his family undoubtedly lived for hundreds of years in Poland but you know Polish people again didn't spring out of the earth I'm sorry um, the Polish people but you just like everybody else migrated there from somewhere else and you know I studied um, archaeology at university and particularly specialised in the migration era. It's called the migration era for a very good reason and that's because people migrated, they moved around and you know the people of England for example, modern England, come from various different places. We're partly um, from the well what are now the Welsh, what used to be called Britons um, and Britons incidentally in many parts of Anglo-Saxon England had slave status um, in, in, after the migration period. The Britons were viewed as, as lesser people and, and Welsh means foreigner in, in Anglo-Saxon. So, um, but if you look at the genetics and not just the Y chromosome, if you look at mitochondrial DNA, you look at the um, X and Y chromosomes, then you find that British people are, uh, English people should we say rather, English people are a mixture of uh, indigenous British, and I'll come back to that in a minute, indigenous British and then Germanic um, sort of waves of people who came into various parts of England during the migration era and afterwards, don't forget the Danish and Norwegian um, invi uh, invasions, the, the so-called Vikings, the, the Scandinavian invasions, although they seem to have had less effect than probably the earlier migration era uh, Germanic Northern Saxon, essentially Angles, Jutes and Saxons uh, migrations, which again were perhaps not, and there's lots of debate about this, perhaps not as numerous as we used to think they were. 
Um, but And then if we go back to the Britons, the Britons themselves weren't the first people in the British Isles. There have been people living in the British Isles for um, tens of thousands of years um, before the, the, the Welsh, the, before the British, the ancient Britons, the people who lived here in the Roman period, uh, before they came here there were other waves of people who came before. People have been moving all around the world, all around Europe and the world, the entire world, even if we look at Australia, obviously Aboriginal people living in Australia um, have been there for an incredibly long time and essentially isolated from a lot of the rest of the world for a long time. But they themselves came there, they didn't spring out of the earth. Um, they themselves at some point were migrants, they were immigrants to, to that place. So essentially our friend Alex here is not a Viking. We can say categorically he's not a Viking because he doesn't own a freaking ship and he doesn't go raiding places and stealing and, and, uh, and taking slaves and sheep and other things from those and gold for, from, from monasteries. He doesn't do that, so he's not a Viking. And he's not a Scandinavian either. Alex does not live in Scandinavia as far as I know. From his accent he sounds pretty British to me. So he's not a modern Scandinavian. Um, and he's not he's not a historically a Scandinavian as well because he himself knows that he has family who lived in the Caribbean and family that lived in Poland so therefore at what point do we call him a Scandinavian? He might have some Scandinavian ancestry indeed I'm guessing um, that the DNA, the probably Y chromosome test that he's had done suggests that he's in the male bloodline. Remember Y chromosome only, only goes in the male bloodline. In the male bloodline he might have a high percentage of Scandinavian blood. And why might that be? It might be because one of his uh, ancestors, perhaps from Norway, let's say, imagine back, back into the mists of time in the 11th century, a Norwegian Viking came to York and um, and married or took a, a, a local woman and they had children and male children all down the line carried that Y chromosome from that Norwegian man who'd come in the 11th century to Britain and then in the 18th century his male descendant perhaps um, uh, started uh, join, got involved with the slave trade and, and opened up a plantation in the Caribbean, let's say Jamaica, started a plantation in, in uh, Jamaica and then unfortunately because slavery in the Caribbean in the 18th century was pretty fucking horrible, um, maybe he raped a few of his slaves and you know passed that, um, that genetic, that Norwegian Y chromosome down the line. So. You know, there's any, and it could it could have gone in the Polish direction. It could have been that a uh, some Scandinavian blood. This is perhaps even more likely. Scandinavia being quite close to Poland, actually, if you look on the map, Sweden anyway. Um, it, perhaps you know some Viking, some some uh, so-called as he calls it Viking, but some Scandinavian male bloodline got passed down to Poland, and then his Polish ancestor emigrated to uh, to Britain. Um, it could come in any number of ways, but the fundamental point is our friend Alex there is not a Viking, as we've, as we've cl clarified, but he is not a Scandinavian either. He has potentially, um, a, at some point far back in time, he has a Scandinavian ancestor. But think about all those generations. Think about all of the other people that he's related to who are not Scandinavian. Um, hundreds and thousands of his ancestors are probably not from Scandinavia and even the one that's from Scandinavia originally their ancestors came from somewhere else not from Scandinavia so there we go genetics bit of a minefield thank you for watching please subscribe follow us on Facebook you can buy t-shirts through Spreadshirt support us on Patreon or follow us on Pinterest thank you